Hello everyone, welcome back to my math channel MathRub. In this video I will answer your question number 8 from Pearson and Excel A level exam for Pure Math 1. This exam is taken in October 2023. Paper reference code is WMA11-01. In this question you must show all the stages of your working. Solutions lying on calculator technology are not acceptable. The curve C1 has the equation xy equals to 15 over 2 minus 5x where x is not equals to 0. The curve C2 has the equation y equals to x cube minus 7 over 2x minus 5. Show that C1 and C2 meet when 2x power 4 minus 7x square minus 15 equals to 0. This is just of two marks. We know that when C1 and C2 meet each other, there will be a point of intersection. To find the point of intersection, we will substitute the value of y, this value of y in this equation. Now everything, every uh, Everything will be in terms of x and we will get the required result for sure. Let me start my question uh, here. x y is equals to 15 over 2 minus 5 x. Now substitute the value of y from the second equation. This is the equation for the curve C2. We will substitute this value here in this equation. x into x cube minus 7 over 2. 7 over 2x minus 5 is equals to keep right hand side as is minus 5x. Now we will simplify this one. Expand the bracket. We get the result x power 4. This x multiplied with minus 7 over 2. You will get the answer minus 7 over 2x square. And x multiplied minus 5 will give you minus 5x. 15 over 2 minus 5x. Whenever there are there is fraction given in the equation, better you multiply by the highest denominator. The denominator is 2 here, so multiply 2 to get rid of the fraction. Multiply by 2. We will multiply every term by 2, so you will get the answer here 2x power 4. And this 2 will be cancelled out and we get it left with minus 7x square only. And this 2 will multiply minus 5 will give you minus 10x. And on the right side, 2 is uh, cancelled with the 2, we get answer 15. And this minus 5x will be minus 10x because you are multiplying by 2. Once you bring this value to the, to the left side, it will be positive and this 15 also you will move to left side, it becomes minus. So you get the result as 2x power 4 minus 7x square minus 10x plus 10x minus 15. This 10x is cancelled out and we get the required result. 2x power 4 minus 7x square minus 15 is equals to 0. It is as required. So first part is done. Given that C1 and C2 meet at point P and Q. If we solve this equation. And we will get the x coordinate of these points P and Q for sure. And if you substitute the values of x is uh, from here to that one, you will get the y coordinate as well. In this way, we will get two points. Just we need to solve this equation to get these points P and Q. Let me show you here how to solve this equation now. Further, we will solve it because it is quadratic in terms of x square. Uh, let me solve. I will show you how to solve it by using factorization or using by quadratic formula. That is your choice. But here I think factorization method will be easier for you guys. So it will be 2x power 4 minus 7x square minus 15 is equals to 0. Because uh, here power is 4 is given there. Got it? And uh, here is x square. So you can make a quadratic if you want. You can substitute x square with any other variable like t. x square as other variable t. So this will be quadratic now. So it will be t square for sure because the x power 4 is x square of square square to square. So x square is t, so it will be t square here. And this x square is uh, replaced by t. So you get here minus 70 and minus 15 equals to 0. Now let me tell you here how to factorize. Simple method is that just multiply this coefficient with 15. Get rid of this coefficient here. So you can write the expression as minus 70 keep as is and you just multiply this 2 by 15 you get here minus 30. How did you get this minus 30 by multiplying 2 equals to 0. Now this this type of equation is uh, 
easily factorized you know we will get two pairs directly in one step you will choose uh, such two numbers that if you multiply you get the you get negative 30 and if you add or subtract you should get the middle number so you have to choose those numbers so only pairs that are giving you uh, minus 30 and minus 7 or minus 10 and plus 3 you know minus 10 multiplied 3 is giving you minus 30 and minus 10 plus 3 will give you the middle number minus 7 equals to 0 you got these two factors but do not forget you multiply it by 2 there you have to divide this constant numbers here by 2 it is a way simple way to factorize and fraction this denominator you shift this denominator over here and simplify this factor we get the factorized factorization here t minus 5 and 2t plus 3 so this is the way to factorize directly in one or two steps okay equals to 0 so two factors here they are t minus 5 and the other one is 2t plus 3 now we will get two answers from here one answer is t minus 5 equals to 0 and other answer is 2t plus 3 equals to 0 so t is equals to 5 and from here you get the answer 2t equals to better you write it directly no problem t will be equals to minus 3 by 2 3 goes to the right side and divide by 2 now substitute back t value t was x square so x square will be equals to 5 and here x square is equals to minus 3 by 2 taking square root of negative number is not possible so you will reject it this is not possible to take square root of a negative number in real numbers because we want uh, real roots from here we will get two answers if you take square root of both sides you will get two answers for x one will be plus uh, square root plus minus square root 5 one is plus square root 5 other is minus plus minus square root 5 now what is the value of y the equation of y we will substitute these, these two values here to get the coordinates of p and q you can substitute in one of the equation you will get the y answers okay you will get the coordinates of y if when, if you substitute the value of x in this equation or here that is your choice got it so here y is the norm so i am substituting here x q minus 7 over 2 x minus 5 when x is equals to negative square root 5 and uh, when x equals to positive square root 5 what is the answer of y we substitute the value of x here so it will be minus square root 5 power 3 minus 7 over 2 and here minus square root 5 minus 5 once you use calculator right as is in your calculator you get the answer for this number is uh, minus 5 square root 5 and this minus and this minus makes it plus so it will be 7 over 2 square root 5 minus 5 10 plus 3 square root 5 over 2 this is the answer given in your calculator okay this one let's say the coordinates of p will be uh, x is minus 5 and the other answer is y is minus 10 plus actually this minus is outside of these 10 and this one it is square root 5 divided by 2 so these are the coordinates of p now we can find the coordinates of q by using the same strategy we will get the result for y it will be only here is positive answer and this is q minus 7 over 2 into square root 5 and uh, minus 5 we will get the same result for sure but it is positive answer so it will be like that and here minus 7 over 2 square root 5 minus 5 by writing uh, as is in your calculator you get the answer for y as minus 10 plus 3 square root 5 over 2 therefore the coordinates of q will be square root 5 and minus 10 plus 3 square root 5 divided by 2 so this, these are the coordinates of p and q let's move back to the question uh, we want to find the exact distance uh, that is why i did not write the coordinates in decimals you have to write uh, uh, the coordinates as is the exact answers for the coordinates to get the exact distance between p and q let me tell you distance formula uh, for example if two points are given like x1 and y1 and other is x2 and y2 if you want to find the distance between them this is the formula you have to memorize it x2 minus x1 whole square plus 
y2 minus y1 whole square. This is called the distance formula and we can apply this rule to find the distance between p and q. To find the distance between p and q, we will use the same formula. Here, we take uh, the difference of two squares like uh, this minus that, x2 minus x1. So it will be, sorry I forget to put here square root because uh, here x coordinate is square, negative square root 5. Now we will subtract them, it will be square root 5 minus and that minus, this minus and this minus makes it plus. So it will be like that and take the square of this plus. Then y2 minus y1 minus 10 plus 3 square root 5 over 2. This minus and that minus makes it plus. So it will be plus 10 plus 3 square root 5 divided by 2. Now under the square root solve these numbers, you know this one for square root 5 plus square root 5 is 2 square root 5 and if you take square of this number, your answer will be 20. Got it? Answer for this one will be 20. This is a square. You can solve this one mentally or you can use uh, the calculator to get the answer for this expression. For sure if you use calculator or use, uh, do it mentally, you will get the answer as 45 for sure because uh, the denominator is 2, 10 will cancel out and this is 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 square root 5 over 2, 2 will be cancelled out and it will be 3 square root 5 if you take square of that, for sure you will get 45 and by adding these two you get the answer as 65, square root of 65. So this is the exact distance between P and Q, this is the answer. Question number 8 is done, if you have any question please write in the comment box, thank you.